the Halloween sheep. In the very center of Colorado, there was a small American village of Pagos Springs where people lived quietly and peacefully for centuries. As in all of America, people there were madly in love with All Saints Day as known as Halloween. Everyone was well aware that mysticism and evil spirits go hand in hand on this day, but until this story happened, no one really believed in these horror stories. The large and friendly Smith family had a huge ranch where they kept various animals such as cows, sheep, horses, poultry, and others. Mr. John Smith turned the wall calendar page to October 31st. As the rest of the village, the family was getting ready for Halloween. John's charming daughters, Kayla and Rosanna, were preparing their own festive costumes and trying to snatch the most elegant jewelry from each other. Gimme, gimme this brooch, shouted little Kayla, I wanna pin it to my black queen dress. No way. Replied Rosanna, it'll look much better on my mermaid costume. Daughters, don't quarrel. Intervened their mother, Mrs. Layla Smith, I have a lot of jewelry for both of you in my box, now follow me to our bedroom, we will prepare for the holiday together. Thank you, mom. The girls answered in unison and rushed to their parents' room faster than Layla. A sudden wild scream of Bobby, a boy living next door, startled the whole Smith family. Uncle John, Uncle John! shouted Bobby, look over there. On the outskirts of the village, there was a small hut where a young girl and her elderly mother lived. Since the girl never appeared in the street, the locals believed she was a witch and did witchcraft. On the roof of her house, they saw a stray sheep bleating wildly, which got lost in the village last night. At that very moment, no one doubted that this was done by the young witch. But they were living in the 21st century and people no longer burnt them at the stake, although many people wanted to do it then. They decided to deal with her in a modern way and hand her over to the authorities so that the court could examine the case. Hardly had they approached the ill-fated house, the elderly woman ran out of it. You are monsters. Why are you making a witch out of her? The girl was born blind and has never cursed anyone in her life. While you celebrate Halloween, she quietly prays for your sinful souls and for the salvation of the world. Leave her alone. It took the locals a lot of effort to remove the poor sheep from the roof of the house. However, no one could understand how it got there. But no one called the innocent girl a witch any longer, and people started to treat evil spirits more seriously, because on Halloween they come out of the woodwork and can cause a lot of trouble not only to an individual, but also to the entire village, city and even to all mankind.